Noah's Ark, I love that show. But now let's take you to a fitness competition that celebrates the beauty of the gay male physique and also helps promote a healthy lifestyle for both gay and gay friendly men. Lorenzo Dandridge takes us behind the scenes of the 2012 Body Boys United Fitness Competition. It's time for the masculine guys to step up and do and come out of the closet and say, hey, it's okay to be masculine and, and still be gay. From Miami Beach to Palm Springs to Malibu, California, all across America, same gender loving men of color are coming together to celebrate a healthier lifestyle in the wake of the HIV virus and AIDS. <laughs> Now in Hollywood comes a male beauty pageant that takes healthy living one step further. It's called the Body Boys United Fitness Model Competition, and Sydney Flex Porter is the CEO. So we started uh, basically for the for gay and gay friendly men um, um, of color as a way to bring like-minded brothers together to celebrate fitness and have a good time. And it's time to really get educated for a healthier, to live longer, um, to be a lot happier. But winning here isn't easy. It takes hard work and a lot of sacrifice. I work out six days a week. I try to isolate different body parts. When it comes to abs, I go hard. You know, if I'm not cramping up when I'm done, then I didn't work out hard enough. I'm not leaving the gym until I feel a cramp coming on. And I work out Monday through Saturday. Um, if it's nine in the morning, it's at night. Welcome to Body Boys United. And though the number of contestants was small this year, the competition includes all the standard elements of traditional beauty pageants, including sportswear, swimwear, and yes, even the dreaded question and answer. So you tell us why you should be the model for 2013. I should be the model because I am sexy. <laughs> and after the judges tabulate the scores comes the big announcement. Your boy, Body Boys United 2013 model, Stephen Platter. For the next year, Stephen Platter will be the official spokesmodel for Body Boys United as their ambassador for healthy living. I just want, you know, the gay community to know that we are strong individuals in all aspects of life, even when it comes to physical fitness. And, you know, they might not think we're as masculine, but this shows you that we are. Steven says his goal this year is to encourage African-American LGBT people that it's never too late to get fit and stay healthy. That's great advice. Absolutely. Congratulations on your achievement, Steven. And that is it for our show today. Here's a look at what's coming up on our next show. On the next, no more download. Becoming Kai. It's not something that I thought about consciously growing up. I wanted to have top surgery because I felt like that would make me feel more comfortable. When people can't figure out if you are male or female, then they have a tendency to not see you as human at all. Hear the incredible story of how one person transitioned to become who he is today. Don't miss Kai's story on our next show. All of that and more on our next show. We also invite you to join in on our daily discussions on Facebook at nomoredownload.tv. And as we go into season three with more informative and entertaining stories, we first want to thank you guys, our loyal fans, for your continued support and your words of encouragement. So, from West Hollywood, California, reminding you to spread love and not hate, I'm Janora McDuffie. I'm Kendall Hogan. And as we close the show, guys, we want to show you some highlights of stories from this past year. Enjoy them. Good night. Your daughter is turning into a damn man right in front of your eyes and you can't This film is about identity and anybody can relate to that. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, Patrick Paul. Uh, black gay culture to the mainstream in a way that makes it um, more normal for people who find it abnormal. For me, I've learned all about the gay white male. I've learned about the, well, the gay white male. The gay white male. So pretty much just learning about a different identity within that, especially of color, is something that definitely everyone should know a part of because we are definitely a part of building America today.
This was Hollywood's kissing at Chick-fil-A. It's not about getting in people's faces, necessarily yelling. We are going to have equal rights, we are going to have gay marriage, and so now's the time to decide which side of history you're going to be on. I've always been adamant that uh, gay and lesbian uh, Americans should be treated fairly. I was the only openly gay African American member of the DNC, and so to see President Obama support, come out and support marriage equality, announce marriage equality being moved forward in the platform, just, just it, it signifies that there's support for our community.